Good morning. Thank you for joining rpay.org, which stands for Reimbursement Premium Adjusted Yields. It's nothing other than account-based healthcare. The other day I was uh, streaming live, I was talking about main stakeholders in healthcare. My wife looked at it, you know, you didn't explain it properly and you need to do a good job at it. So let me try it, folks. I want to try to make it simple. Who are the main stakeholders in healthcare? You may ask. There, I'll go one by one. Number one, the consumers. Consumers are the main stakeholder. What do they want? They want lower premium, affordable premium, transparent pricing, and competition. That's what they want. That's what exactly they're looking for. Number two, who are the next big stakeholders? Uninsured. There are 27 million uh, uninsured. There's a reason why they're uninsured because they were denied insurance coverages or people refuse to buy it because it's not affordable. So uninsured want guaranteed coverage for all the pre-existing illnesses and it has to be affordable, especially for the folks on the street. They don't have house, they don't have an income, they have in between the jobs, they need a guaranteed coverage. Uninsured are the number two stakeholders. Who Who is next? Obviously, number three, nothing other than insurers. What do the insurers want? Insurers want market cap. You want to raise the, the premium, have the premium reasonable enough for them to survive. Insurers are the main stakeholders at the present moment, but insurers are obligations are, are to the consumer. So insurers, insurers should focus on the consumers and try to lower their premium. At the same time, have a large market cap and take care of the folks who need the most. That's the insurer's obligation. Who's next? Hospitals, folks, hospitals. Hospitals, what do they, hospitals are providing uncompensated care. We need to lower the uncompensated care. Hospitals are losing revenue because they are providing for all these people with no insurance and they are providing uncompensated care. We need to, the hospitals are the main stakeholders and we need to cut down the regulations on the hospitals. And the costs keep rising because of the regulations and also because of uncompensated care. That needs to be addressed under the public-private partnership where they are, they provide less and less uncompensated care. Who's next? Doctors. Yes, doctors. Doctors, what do they want? They want thought reform, man, thought reform. This is where, you know, the, they want a cap on awards. They want to minimize the malpractice awards because that's going to raise the, if they continue to, if duty awards keeps going up and up, you cannot have a decent healthcare. So they want a thought reform. They want to, you, we need to focus on, on doctors practicing less defensive medicine. Yes, we can do that folks, protecting the public at the same time. So the doctors are the main elements and we need to, we need to take care of the healthcare professionals and cut down their malpractice rewards by legislation, yes. And who, who's next? You'll be surprised. The large employer groups, folks, large employer groups. Large employer groups want is affordable premium for their employees. Large employer groups are almost like 170, 180 million. They already have account-based plans 
they are self-insured. So we need to give them all the tools they need. Larger employer groups are in an ideal situation, but we need to give them the ideal tools and provide them under the ERISA law. ERISA law, which is a federal law, they, they need to facilitate larger employer groups to get a decent uh, coverage for all their employees with affordable premiums. Who's next? This is where our main focus should be. This is where the, the focus, the next in line is smaller employer groups. It's like mom and pop play, stores. They are the one. We don't have any rules and regulations for a small employer, employer groups. We need to consolidate them, pool them, and give a large market share for the small. You're talking about our economy depends on the small business, small businesses like restaurants and you name it, folks, mom and pop places. We need to have, this is where most of the unsure, uninsured, you know, as a doc, in a doctor's office, we can provide uh, insurance for our own employees. We are a small business. So like that, restaurants, yeah, all the healthcare professionals there, they are not able to provide health insurance for their employees. We need to focus on smaller employee employers so they can be pooled and get affordable premium when they are pooled together. You should be able to get, and you have to provide them adequate tax benefits for them to provide insurance for their employees. So that way it is tax deductible, folks. And they should be focusing on health savings for the smaller employee groups too. In addition to the large employee, smaller employee groups should focus on health savings accounts or account-based plans so consumers are empowered. Last but not the least, brokers. Brokers and, you know, brokers want commission. What do they want? They want commission, yes. We need to provide them adequate commission, but at the same time, they should be focusing on the people who can't take care of themselves. There should be liaisons between insurers and consumers. They can do a better job at providing proper education for people who can't take care of themselves. This is what we we need to have these brokers and their commissions and agents. They should be compensated, but there's a way to do it, folks, by educating the consumers. Well, I hope I've simplified the main stakeholders for the healthcare. And I foresee a brighter future for America where we can provide account-based personalized health care which is consumer driven and everybody should have accounts through health savings that way they can pay as they go this billing system needs to be gone the billing system are all the cpt drg course are made up numbers they need to be the healthcare professionals and facilities to be reimbursed basing on the consumer demands. Thank you for listening. We will see you in the next segment of rpay.org. This is Consumers Dr. Bengala. Goodbye, God bless, and salute.